All right, hi, Robert Cochran here for Brendan TV along with Kristen Sargent. So nice to see you. Nice to see you. And welcome to America, your first time here in the States. Yeah, 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 it's been exciting. Yeah, so, yeah. Not, so of course that follows your first time in Las Vegas. What has been some of your favorite stuff you've seen here in Las Vegas? Oh, look, I'd have to say probably just walking around all the hotels. Mm -hmm. The lobbies here are amazing. <laughs> Um, in Melbourne, we have one casino, <laughs> and I haven't been, but <laughs> a lot of people tell me it's A-OK, -okay. and here I've just had a ball. Is there any property in particular that just had your jaw on the floor? The Venetian, yeah. definitely amazing. I mean, I've been saying that I wanted to take the gondola ride, but there was just so much to see. I, could, I just didn't have time for it, a yeah. lot of it, but it's been a lot of fun. So what was it like for you uh, making the decision to come over here? Was it something the production company said, you got to come for this? Or how, how did you make the decision to come for the premiere? Well, definitely. I definitely um, had not really considered L.A. too much, mm -hmm. being in the Melbourne acting scene, um, or Vegas, for that matter, or coming to the States. Um, it just seemed like a needle in a haystack type thing. Thing with the acting and the theatre and the performance and the vibe of film, film and television is just huge over here compared to where I am from, which is kind of small and knit. Um, but when I had the opportunity to come and promote Prey, I thought, why not just check it out? So, yeah, I've spent a little time in LA and I really love the vibe. As big as it is, there are just people out there so passionate about the film and television industry. I am just I'm in awe and I, I really don't want to get a flight back at this point. <laughs> I understand, yeah. I mean, it really is the industry that drives that massive exactly. city. Exactly. And everyone's really passionate about it. I love it. I everyone's love it. connected somehow, yeah, you know, exactly. out there to it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure everyone you met does something involved with somewhere. And, you know, you go. did you go to any of the studios while you were out there? No, I didn't really have time for studios, but my um, cousin works in the film and TV industry over there. So she's been showing me around and... Uh, little bit of this, little bit of that, meeting a few people and it's it's just, the vibe is amazing. So That's you get off the people there, yeah. So how'd you get involved with Prey? Oh, basically um, through auditioning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I knew that they were after a hippie type looking girl and, and that she was, well, not so ditzy, but extremely into aromatherapy and, <laughs> well, I was a doctor of reflexology and, and at the time I thought I should know a lot about it, but when they said to me, look, she's, She's just in this world of her own, like don't really worry about too much about reflexology or aromatherapy or anything about just be there and love love where you are. So she's the comic relief of the film and honestly I was standing there with Agnethis and Rox and I was and I said to the director at one point, Wh which one's the Agnethis? And uh, which one's the gem? And he went, Perfect. That's it. Do that. And I was like, Oh, okay, great. Not so, much yeah. production like background there but I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> You're the specialist who's full of herself or yeah, full of it I should yeah, say doesn't yeah. really know yeah. She has no idea she just you know she's really into karma mm -hmm. and um, oh, what it, star signs and all those sorts of things and she's just living in this own little fantasy world of ha happiness and when stuff goes wrong she's obviously not the person to really turn to in a bad situation. <laughs> How do you describe the film when you're telling your friends about it now, if you want them to come see it? I mean, what do you say? I'd say it's, um, it's a supernatural thriller slash horror, um, candy film. It's got a bit of fantasy mixed in there, which you wouldn't really see in an everyday horror. And I, I like that. I haven't seen that before. And it, and, it, and it was kind of cool to watch these characters who weren't really reality based, they were more fantasy based and supernatural based, put into a situation like the outback mm. and then work from there. It was it was fun to make and yeah, that's what I tell them. It's a candy horror. For you sure. look forward to having hearing an American audience uh, receive your film? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I haven't had anything come out in America, so I'm looking forward to the response for sure. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for spending time with us. No, not a problem. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Robert Cochran for Brennan TV along with Kristen Sargent.